Hello, YouTubers. I'm Mark, and thanks for hanging with the Hyatts. Today, I'm going to do a little walk around and a quick explanation of some of the add ons that we've done to our toy of choice, which is a 2019 Polaris Ranger XP. So, one of the first things we did was we added a winch. And it's a 4,500 pound winch that I bought from Tractor Supply to Travelers. And we did it right before we went on a trip, which we learned real quick that we were glad that we did because we needed it. But yeah, it's a, uh, I don't remember how much it costs. Two or three hundred dollars. And I installed it. It was pretty easy to install. One of the next add-ons we did was mud flaps. I don't remember who I got them from. They but really keep the mud off of another you. Another couple hundred dollars. And yeah, they, uh, the main reason was I was tired of getting mud slung all over us. That's why we put them on and they have held up and they served the purpose. And the maker of the mud flaps is Mud Dusters USA. Made in the USA. And we're pretty pleased with them. They just keep a lot of mud off the side, you know, because you got to clean it a lot. It's, it's a lot of cleaning. If you want to keep it clean and take care of your stuff. Uh, one of the next add-ons we did was these uh, rock slides. So, they're aluminum. And again, I can't remember. It's been so long since I've done it. I can't remember where I got them from, but... It was another couple hundred bucks. A couple hundred bucks here, a couple hundred bucks there, adds up pretty quick. That's why you gotta have a good woman that's got a good job. Um, but the rock slides, they help protect all the plastic. All this stuff is plastic. So when you're out on trails and you're getting some rocky situations, luckily I got lucky and didn't have to replace any of my plastic, but I learned real quick that if you didn't put something like this on there, they make all kinds of them, but I wanted the ones that was gonna help me slide over rocks. These are, that's what they do, that's what they're there for. Um, another add-on we did is this windshield. And the windshield comes with a manual windshield wiper. And when I bought this thing, I had a, uh, I paid $600 for a, to add on a windshield. But it wasn't this windshield, it was a, a Lexan windshield from Polaris. After about six months of riding with it, it was junk couldn't even hardly see out of it. When the sun hit it, it blinded you. But this is the automotive glass. Um, it works good. The windshield wiper works good. It's got air vents here. You can open them and close them, let the air flow through it. We like it. It keeps all the crap off of you. But my future plans is to have, to make a windshield wiper electric, automatic with a windshield washer fluid, just for improvement. Another thing I have on is these. On the 
gay arms in the front and in the back. And they, they can take your eight arms, they can take your axles, your actual boots, bearings, all kinds of stuff they can take under there. But they also collect mud and rocks. So I had to modify them, I had to drill out holes make drain holes, big drain holes in them, so the stuff would drain out of them. But again, it's a good add-on, and it'll help save some of your investments and protections and all that stuff. One of the latest add-ons is this piece right here. This piece connects here to your shock, and that is a two and a half inch bracket that raises the shock up two and a half inches. So it gives you a two and a half inch clearance. And I did that all the way around. And that was about $185 from Marshall's Something Marshalls, something. I can find the information if y'all want to know and ask if you would like. But it was easy to install. And again, I did all the labor to my, to my, with it all myself. And we also added a uh, mirror so we can see behind us. And also added uh, tires and wheels. So the these are 14 inch wheels with 27 inch tires on the front and the back. That also give me more clearance, ground clearance. But now I got a set of 14 inch wheels and eventually I'm gonna to go to maybe a 29 inch or a 30 inch tire is my next, it's, it's not the next, but it's in the near future. And I'm gonna do the same width tires all the way around. Again, here's the eight arms for the rear that were added on. And we also added toolboxes for storage and luggage. And we put, it's not a cooler, but you could use it as a cooler, but it won't keep ice very good if you decided to use that. We use it for storage. We put our tools or straps, Toe straps, uh, whatever, fire extinguisher, that kind of stuff. And it keeps it dry, it's got a seal around it. And we also got a spare tire. I bought a spare tire, so it got a steel wheel. And we always try to take that with us whenever we go on trips, and that's the and I bought that off of some guy in California, but I haven't had to use it yet, thank God. But we always, we keep a tire repair kit in our toolbox too, so I've had to plug these tires a couple times. You never know what you're going to get into. Happy, 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 and I think that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Hope you have Get something out of it. Enjoy. Till next time. Peace.